The weather is getting hotter now from like one week to the next. Today I'm going to do a quicker video. I know this channel is primarily about uh, tech, but we also have to talk about some times of where we carry our tech in. So today I'm going to do a quicker video on the Peak Design 6 liter sling bag. Let's get to the unboxing. So the Peak Design 6 liter bag comes in three different color options. There is the ash gray, which I have here, the midnight blue, and a black color. You can pick this up on Amazon for $99. Yep, $99. It is definitely not a budget bag. Now first I want to mention the reasons why I wanted to get this bag. I needed an everyday bag to carry around my camera. Um, I do street photography as a hobby so I usually carry a bigger backpack or a bigger uh, messenger bag and I needed something smaller. I wanted to condense my, my everyday carry and have a smaller bag. Now first I was looking at the 3 liter bag, the, the Peak Design 3 liter slink bag. But I wasn't sure if it was going to be too small. I ended up going with the six and I'm glad I did. I guess one of the main things I want to get across in this video is that I believe that the six liter bag is prob probably the perfect size, just like the, the perfect sweet spot for most people. Let me show you why. So here's the bag and in this video, I'm going to try to show you how much we can actually fit inside this bag and why I think if I would have gotten the three liter bag, it would have been just way too small. The one thing I was concerned about with this bag was that it was going to be too big. Um, I wasn't sure just by looking at pictures what size this was going to be um, in comparison to myself. I didn't know if this was going to be too big to be an everyday carry. And some of the reviews I saw out there uh, said that the 3 liter bag was the better everyday carry bag. But let me tell you that this bag is still quite small and compact in my opinion this is still a great everyday carry bag it's not going to be too big or obtrusive while carrying and it fits like the perfect amount of stuff i think so let's try to see what we can fit inside okay let's do a quick overview of the bag first so overall the build quality is what you would expect from peak design it's top notch and I have no complaints there. There was a couple places, if you are nitpicky like that, there's a couple places where the stitching does show a little bit of loose strings. A couple places, I can't even find them now. So there is this front pocket here. The zippers are very nice, I just closed it. There's this front pocket here. You can put like a phone or something in there. That's the front pocket. And the only other pocket is this main compartment. The zippers are buttery smooth. They're not YKK, they're their own Peak Design zippers, but they are very good. So this is just the front pocket and let's take a look inside. So inside the six liter, we have this front little pocket here. And this is usually where I carry extra batteries. So I have a GoPro battery here. I forgot to take out a couple GoPro batteries. So it almost has these little slots that are specifically made for things like batteries. You see that? My camera batteries fit in here as well. Now inside you have these compartments. You have one, two, three, and it comes with two of these Peak Design origami style dividers here. Let me show you these for, for a second. These are pretty cool. So the Velcro on these is different than normal Velcro. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's a slight different. It's, it's stronger. I will say it is stronger and not as, I guess, annoying as other Velcros are 
where it leaves little fuzzy stuff after you unstick it. This is like a different style of Velcro. Works really well. And the purpose of these origami divider things is that you can fold them up and set the inside of the bag to your liking. So you can fold both sides of these fold here. So that way you're able to put, let's say, one lens down here, another lens up here, or something down here, charger and your phone up here, whatever you want. You can leave one in there or you can use both of these. Okay, so the inside has these extra little pockets right here. They're, they're part of this elastic that keeps things from falling off, even though this is zipped all the way down. And they managed to divide it here to add another little small pocket with whatever you want to throw in there. Maybe some sunglasses, some pens, or uh, an extra battery uh, ND filter for your camera or something like that. And then the back, this is where they have their tablet compartment, I guess. It's supposed to fit a tablet, but I'll show you right now how that looks like. They have this little magnet, but if you're using a tablet, if you're going to put a tablet in here, this little magnet is pretty much useless. Now these little elastic bands that hold the back portion of it, you can also fit the Apple Pencil in there. It kind of fits in there perfectly. I'll show you that later. Okay, so let me show you what I usually put in this bag. Okay, I do use both dividers and I use them like this. The first thing that goes in there is this Fujifilm X-T20. And that goes in just like that. So we got the Fujifilm XC20. Now, here's a 50, 50 millimeter prime lens. Fold that down. And here goes in the 35. Okay, so already that takes up both of these compartment compartments. You can squeeze and put other things on top of here. You can probably put some AirPods in here or some other wireless headphones. You can squeeze in a charger, but I like to kind of have my things easy to get and separated. I don't like it to be very cluttered. Now, the other thing that fits in here is the GoPro. So I can actually put my GoPro right in here. There you go. Let's say I'm carrying a microphone, the microphone goes in here, extra batteries goes in there. And then you're saying, what about the tablet? So this is the thing. When you have these dividers and you're putting in your stuff here, if you're going to try to put in the tablet, it says the 11 inch iPad Pro. If you're going to try to put in a tablet, it will squeeze in there. But what this does, there you go, it will squeeze in there just like that. Now the tablet's in there. You can't get the tablet out probably without getting anything else. And the zippers now won't really close. You see that? It makes the bag more bulky. So if I'm carrying the tablet in there, I'm not carrying all of this gear with it and if I'm carrying all of this gear I'm not going to get carry the tablet now without the tablet it'll close up okay the front pocket is where the phone can go just like that okay there you go okay so here is a different way to pack it let's say you want to go out for vlogging or something, you need to take your iPad. You can fit the iPad back here. Tuck it in. Now you see that little slot's what I was talking about earlier in there. I don't know if you can see that. This kind of fits the Apple Pencil in there perfectly. See that? Tucks right in. Now you wanna take your smartphone gimbal that's the DJI OM4. And then let's say you want to take a, have to have your phone, wireless headphones, let's take a tripod, maybe some snacks, 
and then uh, I don't have it with me now, but you can have a charger here. I'm sure the charger fits perfectly fine. And you are set to go. So that's one way of doing it. Well, let's say you're just uh, going out for the day. You put your phone, snacks. Fits the Bose speaker in there just as well. So there's there's many many um, useful ways you can pack this, but I suggest not overstuffing it because then it feels uncomfortable, and that's why I recommend this six liter. I'm sure some of this stuff would fit in the three liter, but it would be very 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 compact. Now I find this bag works much better as an everyday carry when I am purposely using it for street photography only, and. I'm minimizing my gear. So for example, my lens here is the 27 millimeter. It is much, much smaller and I can easily squeeze this in right here. And it's easy to pull in and out. I can still have my other divider. Take the 35 if I want. Fold this down. Take headphones, microphone, whatever you want. And if I'm not trying to shoot anything with the GoPro, I won't take that. And I use this spot here to put in a water bottle. So just a, a regular uh, water bottle will fit in here. You can take that water bottle. You can put chargers. You can put uh, extra thing, the extra things you may need. Uh, you can take some snacks for while you're out uh, shooting. And this is actually a perfect size. For minimal gear it's it makes it smaller and compact and this size you can fit your tablet in here and it'll close with just this so if you imagine if I would have gotten the three liter I don't I think it would have been a, even the gear that's in here now would have been a tighter fit so I suggest getting the six liter if you have more than one mirrorless camera and the one lens um, I'm, I'm sure in the three liter you may be able to fit one DSLR camera with one lens, but that's about it. That's all you're going to put in there. It's just going to be like a camera pouch. So if you if you're planning on carrying the attached lens and an extra lens and a couple of extra things like a battery charger or something like that, the six liter is the best one to to get. And if you're really trying to carry a tablet or a laptop, I even suggest if you if you really need to carry your tablet around, get the 10 liter version. This one, I carry my tablet around only when I don't have this extra gear in here, maybe just the camera with a small pancake lens, and that's it, because otherwise it makes it too too bulky for me. So if you have something like a, a iPad mini or a smaller tablet, then this will be fine. Or even you can put your an extra phone or something else back there. So overall, I think this uh, this size is the best one, and I recommend this Peak Design Everyday Sling Bag for an everyday tech carry bag, something small to carry around. And yeah, definitely check that out. That's all.